so I'm here to do a really exciting video on the new Maybelline The Buffs lipstick collection, which is their new nude lipsticks collection, and I'm so excited. I believe there is... I'm going to say 8 or 10 colors. I have 5 of the colors here, and I'm going to do lip swatches for you today. I'm just going to jump right into it. Now, to my knowledge, I believe this lipstick collection line is permanent. On the display, it does not say that it's limited edition or anything. Maybelline hasn't stated that it's limited edition, so I'm assuming that it's permanent. Um, if there's any update or if you guys know the, the real answer, then just leave the comment down below so all of us can read. But I'm going to show you guys all the colors that I have and lip swatches for you. So the first one I have to talk about is 915. This is the second to lightest color that they have and this one is called blushing beige this one to me is a very nice nude color if you are more of like light skin tone because I'm more of like a light medium mediumish skin tone and this one on me just shows up a little too pale I'll do a swatch right here for you just so you guys can see but there's the color right there on me again it's very very pale it's more it's very pink it pulls very pink and I usually don't like the lipsticks that pull pink because I don't think it works well with my skin tone but um, with this collection I feel like that's not the case because some of the, the lipstick that I have on pulls very pink also and I'll show you guys but um, this one just doesn't work for my skin tone. It depends what you prefer. I just don't prefer this color because it's very pale on my lips you guys will see in the swatch but again that is blushing wait what? Blushing beige. Okay the next one I have here is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today uh, under this naked gloss and this one is 920 nude lust I really like this one this one pulls very pink also but for somehow it just works well on my skin tone I think and I'll do this swatch here so that one's right there you can see that it's a shade or two deeper but it still has that pink undertone but again I think I like it because it's deeper this one again was too pale 915 is too pale for me but 920 is like probably like my skin tone but a little bit more pink so um, it's very nice I really do like it and I like how it's a deeper shade for my medium skin tone I find that the deeper shades work well for me the next one here is 930 Truffle Tees, and I was going back and forth as to if I really liked this one or not. I've gotten questions on Instagram if I liked this one or the next one I'm going to show you more, and I just, I couldn't decide. Like, I, I don't know. So, anyway, this one is Truffle Tees 930, and there's that one right there. You guys can see how it pulls a little bit more brown compared to these two. So I do like the shade, but I don't know if I like the tone, like the undertone of it. Again, it's a little bit more brown, and usually for me, I like the more brown um, shades, but I, I don't know. I just can't really decide if I really do like this one or not. That's that. I mean, you guys can judge as if to it would work for your skin tone or not, but the next one here is 935. And as the shades go up in number, they get a little bit darker, and they definitely change in tone also. So this one here looks like that. This one pulls pink, but it's darker. So it's so hard. Maybelline did a very good job um, with like having different shades and different tones, but I'm debating if I even really like this one at all. But it might be like too pinky brown. Like I don't, I don't know if it's the shades too dark. But you guys can see in the swatch on my lips, um, it depends. It depends if you like the darker lip or not. Um, for me, I'm kind of leaning towards these two rather than this one because this looks kind of like dirty to me. I feel like on my lips it looks really dirty. I'm not, I'm not quite sure yet. I just still haven't decided. I'm still playing around with them. But I wanted to get this video up because a lot of you guys requested for a video of swatches and a review. This next one here is 945 and this one is in Sahara Sand. Oh wait, did I tell you guys that this one's called Cinnamon? 9.35 is called Cinnamon. So anyway, uh, 9.45 is called Stormy Sand, not Sahara. No, Stormy Sahara. I'm sorry. 9.45 Stormy Sahara. And don't mind my nails. They're starting to chip already and not cute. But all right. So here is Stormy Sahara. Stormy Sahara is probably a few shades darker than which one was this? Um, I forget what this one was. Crap. Oh, Truffle Tees. Right now, I really like this one. Nude Lust is my favorite. It's what I'm wearing today. 
but I'm still debating on these three. Everybody has their own opinion, so whatever you look whatever works for you and whatever you like for your skin tone those are all the swatches on my hands um, you guys saw the swatches on my lips so I hope this video was helpful in some way I actually do like the Maybelline color sensational lipsticks I've actually only owned I think one or two in the past I really do like the price point on these they're $5.49 at Target if you get them at like a drugstore or Ulta I believe it's like $7.99 or $6.99 or something like that depending on where you get it but at Target it's $5.49 for one lipstick and I love the price on that I like the packaging I'm really weird and I really like how they close like I love the noise of when the lipsticks snap do you guys hear that like I just love how that sounds it's just I don't know I'm weird but um, another thing I wanted to point out is the scent of the lipsticks I don't really like the scent of them they kind of smell like play-doh yeah it's kind of like a cheapy play-doh scent and I'm not a huge fan of it but I really do like the color payoff they are very opaque in color so when you put them on your lips it's gonna look like the color um, pretty much in the tube on your lips which is amazing because some lipsticks are more sheer than others but the Maybelline Color Sensationals especially in this collection they come off very very well but overall as like a price point quality and everything like that I think these lipsticks are awesome I hope that they'll be permanent so nobody has to go crazy to like find them or anything I really do recommend these just because I like the colors and I like the variety of tones that they give you again you kind of have to play around and see which ones would actually work for you but most places have a great return or exchange policy so if one color doesn't work for you you can definitely you know return or exchange it for a different color that probably will work for you right now Maybelline has them in a display so they aren't in the permanent line yet but hopefully they will be in the future so again those are my thoughts on the new Maybelline the buffs lipstick collection and I hope you guys enjoyed the lip swatches if you enjoyed this video please thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it comment like and subscribe if you have any questions leave them down down below and if there's any other information um, that I forgot to mention here I will leave it down below if you want to follow me on Instagram I post most of my like new lipsticks and like all the new things that I purchased and hauled right away like I'm very good with that I'm very quick with it so if you want to see all the new things that I have before you know I have time to even like gather everything and make a haul video then follow me on Instagram and Twitter I always tweet it also so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!